Zinder, and this is episode 15 of my Minecraft Let's Play. And if there was any noise just now, it's because I moved my microphone, because it was in a bad spot. But, uh, our goal for today is to go find a cave, and I will show you why. As you'll see, that's all the coal I have. And it's not enough. Because... I burnt through quite a bit making these bricks, and basically, I mean, you go through it pretty quickly, obviously, but I'm going to clear out my inventory, make a whole new set of tools to bring with me, I'm actually going to move these down here, and then uh, we're going to go out and look for a cave, hopefully a big one, um, I really want to find an abandoned mine shaft, and I'm still going to need more storage areas added onto this, but that's not something for this very moment. Um, but I obviously need torches at this very second. I keep on opening my inventory because I, I keep on looking to see what I need to organize out of it. And, well, that happens to be quite a bit, I'm sure, as you can see. But, um, I'm just going to take that stuff with me for that. You know, for saying I was going to make new tools, I definitely did not grab the stuff to make new tools. That's... that's more than I need. Okay. Now, I'm going to actually do what I said I was going to, and I should probably bring a supply of food with me. Definitely should bring a supply of food with me. Just trying to figure out how many uh, picks I wanted. Um, the, there's not a whole lot to say at the moment. I'm just doing some preparation for our upcoming journey. And it's going to be long. It's probably going to span multiple episodes. But it is going to be hopefully interesting. I'll be just as disappointed as you if it's not interesting. And what do I got for arrows? 58. Uh, I guess I'm not going to take a bow with me. I am going to want some building blocks of some kind. So I guess I'll take some of the uh, cobble that I just put back in there. Actually, I don't need that much. And just for good measure, in case I need to get down from somewhere, we'll keep gravel in my inventory. Um... But uh, finding the cave is going to be probably a bit of an issue. We'll see how that works out. Um, I'm seeing lots of ums. I apparently do not have anything of what I plan to do thought out for today. And I now remember where I was going to go. Uh, I told a couple people that I talked to on a regular basis where I was going to go off to in order to go caving, basically. And uh, it's somewhere I've been meeting two multiple times. It wasn't until I did a whole bunch of dying and running and this and that that I actually figured out how to get to it for the most part. So, we're going to go over to that ravine. And there's multiple ways I get down in there, but the way I'm going to go with... That was... Oh, that's not the ravine. I was going to say, that's it. that was easier to find than I was expecting. I heard it. Or was it? Oh. You can stay there. And I'm aware that's technically a cave, but I want to explore the ravine. Which should be somewhere nearby. Oh, there it is. Now, my original plan was I was going to take my bucket of water, and I was going to just dump it and get some new water, but uh, I have a better plan. Well, uh, water scaffolding. Oh. Oh, I didn't bring any food. Too late to go back now. This episode just got interesting. For somebody. It's now going to be a pain for me. And there's going to be a lot of gathering of materials, because that was the uh, primary reason came out here, 
But unless I find some zombies, I'm going to die of starvation. So, let's hope that uh, nothing bad happens. I'm not going to tangle with that Enderman. Uh, and while I'm not really in the need of iron, I might as well not pass it up while I'm out here just trying to gather materials. So, I'm going to get every material that crosses my path, just for the sake of getting it. But, uh... You know, I shouldn't be jumping off of things. My food board's not even full. Just, uh... Oops. That didn't work as I planned. Hmm. This lava's being persistent. Persist that, stupid lava. Yeah. I was just going to leave it, but I decided it was probably in my best interest to... What? To set it up so that way I couldn't accidentally walk into it should I get attacked. Which is going to happen. If it doesn't, I'm going to be very sad. Because part of this is I wanted something interesting. Because, you know, I didn't have enough interesting with the uh, different things that happened previously. Make that water go away. Now, I'm hoping this thing connects this ravine. That's what I mean by thing. Um, I'm hoping it connects into an abandoned mine shaft because, to my knowledge, they... It, it, whoa, what was that crazy sounding accent type thing? That is the only place you can uh, get melon seeds. But, it doesn't look like I was quite so fortunate. It doesn't even link in any caves, for that matter, which is really depressing. Maybe if I try go... Try... Try go? Try checking the other way. And, apparently, my inability to speak is out in full force tonight, so... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. That was a lot more uneventful than I was expecting. Oh, crap. Um, it froze. I'm an idiot. I should have known that was going to happen. Just mark you. Hopefully keep you thawed. Oh. Don't hit me, zombie. A skeleton, I don't want to tangle with him. Um, yeah, this is actually kind of difficult now that I have to try to avoid certain things. Specifically skeletons, they're probably the most threatening. Um. Oh. Oh, should not be having my inventory open like that. Middle of nowhere. Oh, crap. Let's see if I can't get him. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Bad idea incoming. I'm in a very, very bad position right now. I'm sure you're well aware. But, I at least know how to get over here, so that's always a good thing. If I die, I'll remember to bring some food with me, hopefully. And yes, I'm being super paranoid about noises right now. I've got three hearts, my food bar is not even close to full. The sword I have out right now is close to breaking. You know, you'd swear I came out here trying to die. But, that wasn't the goal. I did, however, come out here with a plan of what I wanted to do. Which was fun. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, just killed you the cheapest way ever. And almost just dropped an arrow in my face. I 
That doesn't look safe. I hear a zombie. Oh, I see a zombie. Please drop two food. Please drop two food. Oh, he didn't drop any food. What a stingy bastard. He must know my sheep. I do hear another zombie. I think some water. A lot of, uh, silence going on here. I am trying to listen if something's going to ambush me. As much as I'm sure you guys want me to die. You sadists. Laugh when I die and criticize me when I kill a chicken. down there, nor do I want to make the effort. Apparently being effortless. Oh. Oh, shit. That's not good. Um. Come on, zombie. There's no way I'm tackling this without some food in my stomach. Oh. Uh. Ooh. 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 Bread. Thank God. Retreat. Get out 16 blocks away from it. Oh, that's not getting me very far. Oh, shit. Ooh. Thank God poison can't kill you. What kind of spawner are you? Oh. Oh, now I know. Now I know. Backtrack through this little hole. Back where he can't get me. Spider eye. Poison can't kill you. I'm eating that. And then I'm backing away. Very carefully. Well, appears I found another spider spawner. Oh, torch, torch, let me torch you. Cocoa beans. Another bucket. Because I don't have enough of those. take this chest with me. Mostly because I have a general idea of how I got down here, but I don't have much of one, so at some point I may or may not just store things in a chest. But, uh, being kind of quiet, that's just because I'm not really finding a whole lot to talk about, to be honest. It's going to be one of those more silent of episodes. Um, I guess I can discuss some of my plans for the future in the Let's Play. I've started making a list of things that I want to get done. Um, there is some things for 1.2 as well, which I think I've discussed that. Um, cats. Plain and simple. But I have ideas for once I can get the cats too, so... So why am I keeping this alive? I have a feeling keeping it alive is a bad idea. Okay, this cave goes on more extensively than the ravine did. Still fairly close to the surface. You hear things walking above me on what sounds like dirt. And, uh... I don't know how long this episode... 
is, because I forgot to look at the clock this time around. So I'm just going to give it 10 minutes from now. It may be shorter, it may be longer. Not longer. It may be shorter, well, yeah, it may be shorter or longer than 30 minutes. That's, that's what I was going for. Ooh. Hi, Mr. Spider. Ooh, there's two of you. I think I just killed two spiders at once. Indeed. Okay, chickens. I'm gonna get yelled at for probably randomly murdering you, but I'm murdering you with a purpose. I require you as food. Give me food. I'm gonna need to cook that. Otherwise I risk making my life more difficult by contracting, uh... The game just calls it hunger in general for multiple things, but raw chickens in this game, they can still give you salmonella, essentially. Okay, yeah, you know what? I want my torches, so I'm just going to destroy it. I am going to light it up. So yeah, I still lose some torches. Ooh. But I got a decent number of them back, which I've used half of what I had, but I brought some of that extra stuff with me. Um, I've got enough string now, I could probably make a bow, but I've only got the five arrows I've collected. And... I haven't found quite as much coal as I was hoping, but I believe there is more to this, and so we're going to go find that and explore it. It may just dead end. It definitely just dead ended. That's kind of saddening. But, uh, hmm. See, that's... That's kind of saddening, because I was hoping for a lot more when I went to that ravine, but it turns out that ravine was a whole lot of nothing. And yeah, I know there's some coal back inside the, the other cave that I had lived in for a little while, but we've already been a little the way through that cave. It's mostly lit up. We want interesting. Fortunately, I'm not doing a very good job of providing interesting. But... I don't know, I should look more in the forest area, but I think a lot of the uh, the caves there connected together. Hmm. I realize what looks so off about this now. Oh, and apparently I didn't do this side. But uh, what looked so off was just the sides were lower. But I mean, now it still looks kind of off. The whole thing is just off. I'm not going to deal with that. You know, I really, really should just, you know, make some food and whatnot while I'm here. But... There's only one thing I'm going to do while I'm here. Now my why? Now, ugh. Let me try that again. Now why am I collecting black wool? I don't know. I haven't figured that one out yet. I did think about double coloring the path in the storage area, making one side black, one side green. And considering, you know, one side is mostly blocks and the other side is mostly not blocks. That was descriptive. You know, I've apparently been through here, but I don't know if I fully explored this. Which is why I'm down here now. Oh. Apparently, up here. And unfortunately, I'm not finding any other caves, and I should check the snow biome, the pine trees, because that's where I find a lot of my interesting caves. That's a black sheep, just chilling. Give wool. Um. I don't know if you, how many of you know the reason why I carry shears with me, and it's not to just shear random sheep. Ooh, coal. Um, it, it's because if I do find an abandoned mine shaft, the easiest, quickest, and least durability killing way to remove cobwebs is with shears. 
yeah, they still turn to sh string. You don't get cobwebs. But, uh, it all works out. I'm just... I, I'm... I'm very disappointed. I, I need to find a cave. Apparently not for this episode. This one's going to end up being over rather shortly, which is depressing. But I need to find another cave for the next episode. Because I do not consider this valid cave material. I'm... Hmm... I am not pleased. I wanted to have a nice caving episode, and it got ruined. Ruined by a ravine that sucked. That's right. That's that's all I have to say about it. It sucked. It was a terrible ravine, and I want one that's good. Most of them have caves linking into them, or an abandoned mine shaft. That one, it had nothing. It had a little bit of iron and a little bit of coal and not a whole lot else. But I don't want to stray too far from a little place here. Do you think I should just make a compass? I really should just make a compass. And I think I'm going to do that at the end of this episode and before the beginning of the next one. Because you guys don't really need to see me take three seconds to make a compass. Unless you want to. But by the time you can tell me whether you want to or not, it's probably going to be too late. If it's just because you want to see how to make a compass, I can show you even after I make one. There's no real reason for me to actually make a compass for you guys. And I should have dumped out my inventory before trying to trudge off and find a new cave. But I have trudged off and... Found a new cave regardless. That seems to just pass through the hill. Hmm. Cave finding is hard, apparently. Apparently this is just the gathering resources out in the middle of nowhere episode, but at least I managed to make it a little interesting by the spider spawner and the journey without food while not full and low on hearts. That was a lot more words than should have been required for that. But I'm going to take a quick look. See if I can't find a nearby cave. And... Wow. Weakest cave ever. But uh, I really do want to find a nice cave, kind of like the one we started out in. There's probably more in that that I haven't found, but it's a little bit too late for that. Well, it's not really too late. It's getting to be a little bit too late to find my way back safely. But, um, I guess I'll find my way back, and I'll just get myself prepared for next episode. Of which point, I'll probably still not be able to find a cave. I don't want to just go randomly digging around hoping I find one other. That's not really the uh, the proper way to find a cave. It, it'll work. I could dig straight down under my house and probably find one. And I'm sure I'm probably going to find one eventually by extending my house. And with my luck, I'm just going to end up directly in the one that I've already been in. But, uh... You know, I'm going to leave you guys with an interesting ending. We're close enough to the house. I'm not even going to try and fight these one at a time. I'm just going to run in here and tell them to bring it. But that was kind of uneventful. I was expecting more. Hmm... pig scared me for a second. The way it looked just kind of very strange. Very, very strange. Well, I guess that wasn't quite the exciting episode I was hoping for. Um, maybe what I'll do is I do plan to basically build rooms the whole way down to bedrock my house, so maybe I'll just dig the stairs down the whole way. And then, uh, if I find a cave... 
That's where I'll start the next episode. If I don't find one, well then, I'll be very annoyed, because I'll have pretty much breached all possibility. Like, uh, I'll cut a hole in the time-space continuum. It's impossible to dig in this game without finding a cave. But, uh, I'm gonna call this the end of this episode, and I will see you again in episode 16.